My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today, we shall pray for your intentions, intentions that you have deep within yourself. Let us ask the Lord to bring you healing. Let us ask the Lord to fulfill all that you desire deep within yourself. Ask the Lord to bring a miracle at your side, bring you healing and goodness and good health. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In order to be tuned with God, to please Him, we need to listen to his word and obey his commands. At this time, as we partake in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have sinned. Forgiving one another and asking the Lord's pardon, let us say together, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline. Our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, and making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response. From all their distress, God rescues the just.
glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Your response? From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Your response? The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for the cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. Your response? From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in the spirit, He saves. Your response? From all their distress, God rescues the just. Gospel Acclamation One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. So, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven, Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we have given ourselves to God in special preparations during this time of Lent. Let us make the best use of this time to look into myself and change, become new. Let us not make this Lent like what it was in the past. Let us do a little serious fasting. Let us sit in the chapel to pray. Let us go to churches for masses. Let us make Lenten observances of giving alms to the needy and the poor. Let us sacrifice for Jesus 
a little more than what we may have been doing. Dear brothers and sisters, Prophet Isaiah clearly indicates to us about the word of God coming here on this earth, becoming human, fulfilling the mission, and only then returning to God. The word of God is the utterance of God for the mankind with a purpose to save you and me. He says, just as the rain and the snow comes down on the earth, fulfills the mission of growing plants, allowing it to grow into flowers and fruitfulness, and then producing seeds again to plant. So too the word of God that comes on earth will not go up until and unless the word has fulfilled the salvation of the whole mankind. This is the promise of God and the promise which is fulfilled. And this is the total relationship that we have between God and mankind. And today, the Lord reminds us in the sixth chapter, verses 7 to 15, do not make babbling prayers. Do not make too many prayers just reading from here and there. These are not genuine prayers. Your genuine prayer is your relationship with the Father. And the Lord says, make the prayer like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. See that the Lord is very precious to you. In every work, see that you utter God's name. Let God's name be holy. And further, make the petitions that you have on earth as it is in heaven. Let all that is here be the resemblance of what is in heaven. Ask the Lord to give you your daily bread and above all to forgive all your sins, just as we do to our neighbors and to those who are against us. Do we forgive? Then the Lord will forgive us. Do we understand each other at home, husband and wife, parents and children, in your workplace? Are we as Christians able to do this? Then the Lord will forgive us. Ask the Lord that the evil one must not tempt us. God doesn't tempt us. He doesn't give us those trials. These are devil's works. But if we are close to the evil one, the temptations are already at hand. We have made invitation for the temptations. Ask the Lord with truthfulness, to drive away the evil one so that there is no temptation. And ask the Lord to deliver you from every evil element in our lives. That is very, very important. My dear friends, the season of Lent is inviting us to be mutual with one another in understanding. This prayer, our Father, is to be practiced at home by our mothers, fathers, children, grandparents, build up a beautiful family and radiate this forgiving attitude 
to your neighbors. Take it to your parish. And then let it become viral. Forgiving one another. And then there will be no war. There will be no strife. There will be no hunger. There will not be any thirst. There will be no wantings and even needs. Everyone will suffice with an attitude of forgiveness. An attitude of forgiveness will also bring sharing with one another because everyone will be your brother and will be your sister. And that will make your heart affectionate, loving, kind towards the other. My dear brothers and sisters, let us look into our lives and ask the Lord to strengthen us during this time in order that we be serious enough to change. Amen. Not my own to Christ my Savior, I believe in trust my soul. brothers and my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us that it may bring us eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when Sapo was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John of God, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced through eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh Lord, be not mindful of our 
guilt and of sins. O Lord, do not judge us for our faults and offenses. May your merciful love be upon us. Help your people, Lord, O God, our Savior. Deliver us for the glory of your name. O Lord, be not mindful of our guilt and our sins. O Lord, do not judge us for our faults and offenses. May your merciful love be upon us. Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us ask our dear mother to bless us and to strengthen us during this time of Lent to build up a better relationship with one another and with God. Let us ask our dear mother to bring peace in Russia and Ukraine and other parts of the world. We ask our dear mother to intercede for us, especially those who are sick, those who need a miracle at this time. We ask our dear mother to bless those who are looking for jobs, those who are waiting for the gift of child. Dear Mother, bless all our intentions. Bless our families with peace, joy, and happiness. Bless our children and youth who are appearing for the exams. Those who are preparing for the exams, bring success to them. Let us pray. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation, in tribulation, their power to endure, and in peril, their protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may the Lord bless you with the best of preparations during this time of Lent. Be.